guys, it's Shayna and today it's Tasty Tuesday. So since it's the start of summer, I figured we should totally make some popsicles. I got these colored silicone ice pops from Food Work. They're sold on Amazon. The link will be in the description bar. Also, they there is a 10% discount code, so you can take 10% off of your purchase. They're like the size of a standard popsicle, so they're perfect for kids. I really like these ice pop makers because they're really easy to use. They're reusable. You can put them in the dishwasher. They're BPA free. So if you don't have the freezer shelves with the slots in them, you can actually turn it on its head and freeze it that way. I froze all six of the ones that I made upside down. I only had one of them expand to the point where the top started to come off, but it didn't leave, which I was very impressed by. I also really enjoy them because they're easy to squeeze. You can actually serve them up for dessert as well. So I'm gonna show you how to make two really healthy ones, and the third one is not gonna be that healthy because after all, I mean, I need sugar. Like the channel is sugar stiletto style, so you know. This one in my hand is strawberry cheesecake. I'm gonna go ahead and show you how to make it. It's really, really good. To make the strawberry cheesecake pop, we're gonna need some graham crackers, strawberry cheesecake yogurt, and fresh strawberries. I'm gonna take a couple of whole graham crackers and drop them into my blender. You can also add a pinch of sugar if you like, just to give it that real graham cracker taste. And chop them down until they get kind of powdery, so they're gonna end up looking like this. Now we're gonna grab our freshly washed strawberries and chop the tops off of them. Then we're gonna throw them into the blender and puree them. P.S. You can totally make a popsicle out of the pureed strawberries. It's really good. I'm going to liquefy my strawberries. So I'm going to press down the edges and liquefy them. Now I'm going to grab my strawberry cheesecake yogurt. And I'm gonna take a couple of scoops and put it down in the container. As you can see, the container is really flexible so you can actually get your spoon down in there. And I'm gonna alternate layers. Then I'm going to finish it off with a layer of graham cracker crust. In hindsight, I would have layered the graham crackers in between the strawberry cheesecake and strawberries because putting it on the top like that ended up, because when I opened it, it all came falling out. So, you live and you learn. So since I had some strawberries left over from the first popsicle, I decided to make a smoothie pop for the second one. This one we're just gonna need to grab some orange juice and Greek honey yogurt. I added two or three scoops of the Greek yogurt and about a fourth of a cup of the orange juice and then I blended it all together. And I poured it into the ice pop maker. Keep in mind you do need to make it an inch from the top so that it has room to expand. Put it in an airtight container, throw it in the fridge and shake it up the next morning and you're good to go. And once it comes out of the freezer, it'll end up looking like this. And finally, for my sweet tooth, I did a root beer float pop. This is a fun summer classic. All you need is root beer and ice cream. Of course, I did everything the hard way where I took my ice cream and put it in the container and then added my root beer and went back and forth alternating like that. It's a lot easier for you to just put the root beer float together in a cup and pour it in. But like I said before, you live and you learn.
And since I don't drink a lot of soda, what I'm going to do is put the cap on really tight, shake it for about 5 to 10 seconds, and then let it settle. So that actually helps to recarbonate the bottle and it keeps the soda fresher longer. And if you're not able to finish it, put the top on it, put it right back in the freezer and try again. Alright guys, so that's it. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to rate, comment, subscribe, and share this video. You can also check out SugarStilettoStyle.com and I will be updating it with a lot more recipes. I've been having a lot of fun with it. Thanks for watching. See you in the next one. Bye.